Our good buddy Phil Kogan of The Amazing Race is on a mission this summer. He's looking for people who really live their lives with passion. And this week he found someone who has lived several lives with more on the way. The majestic San Francisco Harbor. Gateway to the Pacific and gateway to one amazing woman's audacious adventure. On today's edition of Kogan's Heroes, shedding a conventional lifestyle for the challenge of a lifetime. Okay, thanks Rich. Meet Roz Savage, an extreme rower. In this 23 foot long oh, so capsule of a boat, with a cabin smaller than most bathtubs. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Roz rode by herself clean across the Atlantic Ocean. Let's rewind a little bit. It's 2000, and outwardly 37-year-old Roz Savage is the very picture of suburban contentment. But inside, she was miserable. I sat down and wrote two versions of my own obituary. And one version was the one that I was heading for at that time, which was a pleasant enough life, um, living in suburban London and earning a decent income and having some nice vacations. And then the other version was the version that I really wanted. What Roz really wanted was to buy a boat, outfit it with radar and satellite phones, and have her dear mum pack enough lunches for a solo transatlantic crossing. <laughs> so you didn't think about maybe taking some small steps? You just thought, I'm going <laughs> to row across <laughs> the Atlantic? I mean... In my mind, rowing really across the Atlantic seemed really quite doable. Kind of challenging, but really not all that hard. Boy, was she wrong. Setting out from the Canary Islands, Roz faced 3,000 miles of open ocean with only a camcorder for company. I just can't somehow find it in myself to be scared, though. Maybe I'm too foolish to be scared. Everything that could go wrong did. Her oars snapped and had to be duct taped. Salt water ravaged her hands. And her satellite phone got swamped leaving her with no link to the outside world. This is just such a nightmare. Caught in this situation that there is no way out of. What was I thinking of when I got into this? Then there were the moments of real danger, like when the sea anchor snagged and couldn't be reeled in. With rough seas tossing the boat, Roz climbed out, knife and teeth, to cut it loose. She was very nearly tossed out herself. Winston Churchill said, when you're going through hell, keep going. But the toughest times, she learned, provide the greatest rewards. <laughs> rewards that showered down when Roz finally made it, 30 pounds lighter to Antigua. Hundreds cheered for her, including the woman who packed all those lunches. Now you can call her crazy, but she's doing it again, this time across the Pacific something no woman has ever done before. Why did you do this? Why did I do this? That is a very good question. And now she has a cause. She'll be blogging to school kids about ocean pollution and inspiring others to follow their dreams. I had a big dream for a big adventure and decided to make it happen. Hey, you're a natural. Which was my cue to jump in the hot seat and find out how difficult it is to control this beast. I have no idea which way we're going. Which way is Australia from here? <laughs> <laughs> that way. <laughs> oh, that way. So it's Roz Savage, undersized rower versus the world's largest ocean. But like the philosopher says, the earth has its boundaries, but the human spirit is limitless. For The Early Show, I'm Phil Cogan.